hi guys good morning or good evening uh, in this video or tutorial we will see uh, how do we delete a ps file in the last videos we have seen a creating of ps file or fixed block or variable block now we will see how do we delete this either fixed block file or a variable block file so let me create this uh, data set again by submitting this job Oh, I think it looked like uh, the the file is already existing just wanted to make sure like the file is existing then go to start 3.4 then type press FP oh it's not there so new catalog delete ah, am I missing something it's not there right new catalog so that the comma is missing here okay so just let me submit this again okay it has been with zero so now I can see the flexible block I mean variable block ps file is created now in order to delete this ps file the main important thing we need to ch look at hit here the disposition parameter if the disposition parameter is new if the data set is created this catalog and delete the data set if it is not cataloged or if it is not existing okay if it is existing just what I'll do is I will try to comment these three lines okay and I will give some description over here just to make sure like what this JCL is about this JCL is to delete the PS file of either it can be an FB or a VB variable block file okay then now I have seen the data set is existing and I can see the properties and everything now just I will make simple modification I can make it as old okay since the data set is already existing old and not to catalog remove it from catalog how do I remove it from catalog so just type DELE uh, DE here and type DELE TE okay based on successful or failure just delete this data set okay just try to submit it by giving a sub command and enter so the GCL okay error so why because I have to remove this continuation mark and then submit it okay and submit so you can see the maximum condition code is zero here and I'm going back here and I'm trying to checking this data set okay if you enter see no doubt the data set name found that means your data set is successfully deleted and I also wanted to check if there is any FB record available yes I see an FB record is available and I also want to delete this FB record too just type this FB so it will be the same uh, JCL that you can use either to delete a fixed block file or a variable block PS file and again just do a submit button I mean sorry submit command there and just enter you can see the maximum condition code is zero that means it has successfully deleted the fixed block file and I go back and just enter no data set name found okay so this is how we delete a data set and there is another way of deleting a data set before that I need to create this data set again so that I can show you how to delete a data set in, in, in another way okay CATLG and uh, type comma here okay and uh, it should be a variable block right so variable block the submit is created then again I will be creating another file for fix a block fix a block okay and then submit okay let's see so now the two data sets are successfully created so if I want to see the two data sets at the time I can type star here and enter so you can see both the data sets here if you are giving a complete name so it will list only one complete name if you are giving star so then you can list you all the di different data set names so you can see so here it the you can see a command here so it is asking you to type some command here okay so we have several different commands here one is for browse 
and another is for edit if stands for edit okay has to see the properties and in the same way in order to delete this you can delete it by D by pressing D it will be asking you to uh, set data set daily delete confirmation so this is the data set then this is the volume and uh, this was created and so on so date you want you do you want to delete this confirm press enter to confirm delete just press enter so this is something you are doing in the foreground right if you want to do it in a background that is batch you have to create this TCL so this will be very much useful when these jobs run at the end of the day we wanted to delete it so physically you cannot come uh, and log in to the mainframe and you cannot delete it in the foreground right when something is running at the back end right so at the time this will be very much useful to delete a particular uh, PS file or either it can be a fixed block or a variable block now I have deleted this so if I refresh so you can see that has been gone and again if you type D here and just enter again press enter so you can delete the data set again you can see no data set name found so this is how these are the two different techniques that we can delete a data set either using the foreground or a background when I say foreground using the commands you can delete the data sets either when I say background using a, by writing a JCL you can delete a data set or create a data set or a PS file thank you so much for watching